We are dealing here with indirect measurement. The trick to these problems is to read them very, very carefully and label your diagram very, very carefully. So let's look at our given information. Um, I'm going to be reading the problem and highlighting all numbers. You should get in the habit of doing that and, of course, key words. It says a man wants to measure the height of a nearby tower. He places a 10-foot pole in the shadow of the tower so that the shadow of the pole is exactly covered by the shadow of the tower. That means they overlap. The distance between the pole to the tower is 187 feet, and the pole casts a shadow of 3.75 feet. How tall is the tower? Round your answer to the nearest foot. The first thing you always want to check is to make sure your units are all coinciding. We have feet, feet, our answer in foot, so we don't have to worry about converting units. Now the next thing we need to do is to very carefully label that he places a 10-foot pole. So the pole is 10 feet tall, so 10 feet. We're done with that number. And they overlap. And so it says the distance from the pole to the tower. So be very careful. This right here, only from the pole to the tower, is 187 feet. And the pole casts a shadow, which is 375. So that's from only from here to here. The shadow of the pole is 375 feet, 3.75 feet. And we're being asked, how tall is the tower? First thing I want you to do is pull apart the two triangles. They're overlapping. So we have this triangle right here, and it's a right triangle. Anything built against the ground we can safely assume is a right triangle. So we have our smaller triangle, and then we have our larger triangle. And anything against the ground we can safely assume, again, has a right angle. So both of these have right angles. And they share this toe angle here. So we know that they are similar by the shortcut angle, angle similarity. That's important. Now let's get our numbers here. The height of the tower is what we want to know. We'll call that x. The height of the pole is 10 feet. The shadow of the pole is 3.75 feet. And then this is the sand trap here. Very important. This entire length is not 178. That's the shadow of the tower. That entire length is a or 187. It's 187 plus 3.75. So keep that in mind, 187 was not the shadow of the tower. We have to add these together. That's 7, 5, 10, carry the 1, 90. So our here is 190. The shadow over of the tower is 190.75. So since they are similar, we can do a proportion. And our proportion is going to be uh, x over 10 feet. You could do 10 feet over x if you want. Just be consistent. I'm going to go x over 10 feet equals 190.75 over 3.75. And from here you cross multiply. And of course I'm going to bring the information over here. 3.75x equals 10 times 190.75. To solve I'm going to divide by 3.75. So x is going to equal 10 times 190.75 divided by 3.75. At this point, you bring out your calculator. And we're going to go 10 times 190.75 divided by 3.75 and we get 508.66 round your answer that's going to be 509 it says round your answer to the nearest foot so no decimals <laughs>